Hi. The Wi-Fi 6 access point improves the capacity of the connection dramatically. If your access point also supports PoE, we can use single internet cable to send both power and data to the access point, so there's no need for power source at the edge. However, the PoE is limited to 100 meters. So if the distance from the access point to the main router is beyond 100 meters, we still can use the PoE standard. But eventually, the PoE standard will downgrade the speed. So is there any solution which will allow us to send the data beyond 100 meters, also with fast speed? I believe the fiber optic cable is one of the best choice. Unlike the PoE we can use the cable to send both power and data, we cannot inject the power to the fiber optic cable. Basically, the fiber optic cable is just a plastic. So in this video, I'm going to show how to use the fiber optic cable and also the power code to send both power and data beyond 100 meters with fast speed. First, let me just set up the link between the first fiber optic cable connection box and the second one. This is the factory made fiber optic cable. So I don't need to do the fusion in the field. The LC connector has been built in the factory and 100% test. What I need to do is just wire the cable and plug and plate. And we also need the power cook. This is the cable to send the power from the first terminal box to the second terminal box. So in this case, I, even there's no power source available at the edge, I still can using the power. First, let me just make the connection for the terminal box point 8. And also the power, power cable. We need to wire the power cable in parallel. Let's take a look at inside of the congestion box. The blue one is the LC adapter and the green one just for the power. The fusion plate is still reserved, so if you prefer using the fusion, still can take it. First, let me just, just install the fiber optic cable. You have to pass through the grain. Now enter the inside of the terminal box. So we're going to put the terminal cable to the adapter. Also, you have to pass the power cook. And now, it's quite important to, to just have the right sequence. I'm going to put the uh, put the red right on the left and the black one on the right. Right now I have just finished finished the connection for the first congestion boss. Let me just move to the point B. The connection is pretty much the same. I have wired the fiber optic cable and power cable from the first terminal box to the second terminal box. Next, I'm going to 
add the data and power to the first terminal boss so we can use at the edge by getting from the second terminal boss this is the main router with the data I will need this media converter to convert the digital signal to fiber optic signal so it can be traveled through this fiber optic cable this is the mini, mini media converter first let me just power up the media converter and I also need this short punch code to link the media converter to our main router to get the data and the next thing is the short punch code we are going to use to link the transceiver to one of the fiber optic cable we just need to use this short punch code you may wonder why we need only single fiber optic cable because this is the BIDI media transceiver it is using different wavelength to send and receive the data so just one fiber optic cable will be enough to sending and receiving the data so I'm going to get one of the fiber optic cable, fiber optic cable and just connect to the adapter the data is ready we also need the power we are using this low voltage DC 55 voltage so first I'm going to hand up the power data and now I will just put the power cook to the green adapter so the power will go through this power, cook, power cable to the edge it's important to match the positive and negative otherwise it may just damage your edge, IP device at the edge so I'm going to use in the brown to match the red and also the blue to match the black now the connection is almost complete what I need to do is just plug this power cook to the AC power outlet you're not going to see it because it's just not under the camera size alright now we got both power and data ready at the edge in the next step I'm going to install the IP device by taking the both power and data from this, the second terminal box this outdoor media converter can take the data from the fiber optic cable also the power and input to the DC input there's voltage regulated, regulated built in so even there's voltage drop the output still can output the standard PoE now let me just make a quick connection first take off all the grain before we connect the fiber optic cable to the media converter we still need to install this SLP module the SLP module will convert the fiber optic signal to the digital signal now we insert the fiber optic SLP module to the SLP slot next we will need this short punch code to link one of the cable to the media converter I remember we're using the, the first one so we, we take the data from the first, first one and now we connect to the SAP slot the data is ready we still need the power right this is short punch code we take the power from the power code so it's important to have the correct sequence it. the red match to the red, the ground for the ground now it's ready let me close the congestion box now just power the media converter 
once we I plug in, we can see the power data is on, the link is on, which means we already have the power and data from the, from the back end. Now we can connect the PoE port to supply the PoE to our outdoor access point. You, you can see the outdoor access point doesn't have the power port, it only supports PoE. Now we need this short punch code to link the media converter to our edge device. You can see now the indicator has been start fraction, which means the TP link, this outdoor access point is getting both power and data from the edge and through the this power far body cable from the back end. All right, that's pretty much all for today's video. If you have any, any question, please leave a comment section below. Have a nice day.